to uh, grab himself some of the first CS. They did help Resolution out a little bit with the Wyvern early on, and uh, how about this matchup then? Oh, wait a second, top lane, Juggernaut is actually gonna get the first blood here over on Beaver Knight. Sing Sing in way too deep, and they might even get a secondary here. Kebab, if he's not careful, will be going back though. Maybe tried for far, so starting to have a lot of uh, damage between EMP and Tornado on the right. Actually just gonna burn his mana here and be a little bit of a nuisance and force him away. And actually Arise is choosing to fight here because of the rotation from Lina, the Tornado. Uh, what? Just happened there for a resolution. A little bit of a misclick, I think. <laughs> Start throwing some raises. Be exciting. High risk. High Pretty risk. low reward. <laughs> oh, there we go. They're, they got the nightmare to split. And this should be a kill on Funic. Nope. They don't land the second raise, but with that cyclone, should send up for the third, and Kebab will claim that kill. Big kill goes to the Brewmaster, so. Smoke up from Dire. Looks like they're getting ready to dive mid. Yep, yep, they're going in. There is uh, no Shadow Blade available just yet. All right, he just evaporated from that combo as well as, of course, the Dragon Slave Fatal. Lots of damage between that. You saw him being burst there. Maybe a chance to survive with the mech. Oh, Arrow does connect on no fear, so at least there's going to be a return kill here. Laguna Blade committed as well from Yapser to claim that one. Um, well, I was I was going to ask you, Shadow Blade on Shadow Fiend in this game. Oh, it did. Yeah. Shadow Blade, huh? Uh... You know, ah, oh, demon isn't too far. Commits the wall, just needs to run next to him for a little bit. Gets the punch here, Funic. Wow, the double iron shell play. Just got killed. He's back into it. Funic right there, the X Factor. He's in a little bit of trouble though. Oh, he yep. wasted the arrow. Arrow wasted. They actually could be in trouble now for ba uh, Baby Knight. Yeah, that's right. Beaver Knight barely gets away here. Sing Sing now the on the retreat will be the rest of Empire. The Rubik will get caught by this raise by Arise, so they do get that kill. Nice. He's got a soul. And FaZe, of course, runs right past, and he's head of the curve, so... <laughs> That's pretty decent. Winter's Curse deployed onto Beaver Knight. He is just... Alright, he vanished, and so will this tower most likely. Or could just transition into Roche right after this, or are they missing some sort of key ability in order they to do that? be careful of the, the panda's blink. That's pretty much it. I think that there's still 500 to go, to go for that. They're actually going to dive onto Yapper. Omni Slash as well as Cold Snap going to make quick work of him. Silent does have to spin time to very nice. Here we go. He is thinking about it. No fear. Oh. Yeah. too confident to let it go here. Actually just goes for all oh, misses to the first raise, but the two others will be enough. Of course, arrives with a haste rune. That was going close. To quickly escape here, yeah. Not a little bit surprised by the pattern of no fear. Meanwhile, bottom lane, good vacuum combo into the wall with EMP Tornado as well. Needs a little more damage here to claim Yapsor. That's going to be done with the clap out here from Aloha Dance's Rubik to build a really sizable lead now, about 7,500. Seems like this could be on the way to becoming a very one sided game. Kebab came in too close. He gets telekinesis into the other two heroes. Clap once again committed together with the Ion Shell. Now Beaver Knight is back in business, but he really doesn't have very much to provide right now. Lots of. Here, getting his Orchid immediately into Ghost Walk. Starts looking around. And he might have just found his victim already. Beaver Knight gonna get cold snapped as well as Orchid up. A couple of attacks need to come in. That should be enough. He isn't in far though. And there comes the Beast. Good response from Monkey Freedom Fighters to turn that into a trade off. Kill going to the Lena. Play push. Absolutely. Oh, Yapsir yeah, doesn't know what's about to hit him here. Funic with the Invis Rune is just gonna walk in. The Life Factory actually does hit over on the Rubik. So maybe he didn't know what was gonna hit him, but the mech comes out. Do have some Invis here from the Moonlight Shadow, does pump the dust though, Juggernaut, really quick kill on Kebab with the Omni Slash. And he rotates down to find Yapsar as well, too quick. So, Man, oh. Arise is just going in really aggressively here, if there's any sentry there, he could just be losing his life for almost nothing, but... It's a little bit of information, there's the Blink Clap split from Demon, two good races from the side as well from Arise, very, very nice kill over on the Rubik, now they've got a Fiend Strip on oh, South as well. Damn. Vacuum into a really good EMP, but it's not enough. No, well, the wall does come out, but it's a little bit late from Funic. I think he didn't have the mana for it. And now Arise has the potential to wind up, wind up the Requiem. Actually cancels, it doesn't need it. They get the kill with the Double Star Storm. Now they follow up and no fear. Really, really big turnaround here for Monkey Freedom Fighters. Arise, Four man. Four kills for nothing. The Shadow Fiend plays. He's killing it. Value on this hit. Shadow Blade. Camp. This could be a really big I think problem. he could do it solo, but... He needs spells. It's gonna dust. Does the Orchid go in a moment, I guess. There we go. Alright, completely mistimed that, and Arise actually just takes him out solo now. Silent, gonna be looking for Arise. He is still dusted up, but there are creeps in the neighborhood, and there comes the Moonlight Shadow when oh, the Omnis jumps to the creeps. Nice play. Towers for the most part. Arise, Silver Edge. 
Like running in here. Good engage from Yap. Sorry, I'm trying. That's a pretty hard hitting Shadow Fiend Jules. Could be another kill. Good back wall from Funic, but. Oh. You're not soloing five heroes. Instead. The game just turned around on his head within the last higher positioning here. Who'd you get the Aegis to? Juggernaut or Invoker? Uh, I think you have the Jug, assuming there's kind of front line with the buildings. It's pretty much the direction they're headed this game. To Sing Sing that Funic will be farming this camp, and with the rotation from Arise, Funic is actually going to be in a lot of trouble here if he doesn't- He doesn't have Blink ready! He's screwed! Easy kill! <laughs> from the Marana, and it is going to be a Maelstrom, actually. Entirely from the Invoker. Might be a counterplay. Good Orchid, though. The Curse also over on Kebab, so some really big abilities being used here from Empire, but they're not finding the kills, and now Arise is going to show up. Gets a very quick kill over on Aloha Dance of Druvik with the help of the team script from Kebab, and they're trying to- Let's see if MFF can pull it off now. Of course, the last couple of team fights have been easier for them positioning wise and what they've been up against. Tries to manage the dodge, but doesn't manage. Miss. But the arrow is going to miss actually. Good Yule's play though from Yap for buying some time, but there comes the back wall combo that we've been looking for. Kebab's going to get cursed up there in a lot of trouble. Beaver Knight will be able to lead away from this as No Fear Cold embraces up himself. Barely staying alive in that Marana Silent tried to run him down. At the same time, we've got a Cyclone on the side, and Arise actually running down at least a Loa Dance going in for a raise here. Gets another one over on Silent that should be the Aegis with the Brain Sap, and it is. And now if Arise can time this perfectly with a Requiem, he might be able to one-shot pop this Juggernaut. Damn. There we go. Styling all over Empire with the Shadow Fiend, and another kill now for the Brewmaster. Actually a mistiming there from the Vacuum Tornado play. And this should keep Demon alive if he dodges this EMP, which he will. Nightmare comes out from Kipop. No mana on Arise. He's got a wand. I don't think he even had time to spin. Very, maybe, very it could have been, maybe it was on cooldown, but you know what? I'll say it wasn't. Rice just played it perfectly. And no matter what, that looks extremely good. Resolution now in trouble in the mid lane. Getting comboed here. He's actually even going to lose the gem, gem way down. out of bounds there. Boards and make things a lot more safe for them to move around, which is nice. This is a very quick oh. grocery spawn. Yeah. It's like they found Yaps are out, but yeah, not legal. really able to commit on him right now. This should be a kill. Arrow combination perfect from Singh. They do grab the Rubik. With Roche. An arrow. Arrow's pretty good. Actually, arrow's pretty good. They got, what, Dragonite Healing Ward, too. They can throw more. Arrow, ball. speaking of arrow, beautiful hit from Sing onto No Fear. Don't He's actually it. gonna jump over. Starstorm gonna hit twice. Perfectly ranged out there from Beaver Knight. The curse doing quite some damage to him, but Please He's fine. Stop hitting me. That's a key cooldown, actually. Empire will be trying for it. Alacrity onto the Juggernaut. We'll be doing this pretty quickly. Dragonblade starting off their rap, and here comes Demon. He gets a good three man clap into split, and it's a really good damage out. Arrow onto Funic. That is huge if they can block him down, but it doesn't look like they have the focus fire right now. This Laguna Blade will be able to get the job done from Yapsar together with the Fiend Script. Silent now trying to finish off Roshan. Perfectly timed Cyclone from Demon. They even get the Rose kill and the Aegis over on Arise, and now the kill on the Jugger. That could not have gone any worse for Team Empire, and that's it. Oh, MFF, I wonder if they want to force out this Juggernaut buyback and if they actually think they can get away with it. Well, looks like they think so. They're going to jump in on Demon. Arrow's going to fly through. Didn't even manage to connect because he died so fast to arise. Now, oh, yeah, sir. Well, who's actually catching who? Looks like Monkey Freedom Fighters. Look at the opening, but good telekinesis from... Aloha Dance is going to disperse the fight for a bit. For Empire, Tornado, yeah, he needs to get this Omni Slash off. He will! Oh, it won't, actually. <laughs> get that Omni Slash off, and now, what's the turnaround going to be? Hesitate a little bit long there, and do get a trade off one for one, getting the Bane for Resolution. But with this Brewmaster's play continuing inside the base, they will be claiming the Rubik as well. For like a Daedalus, that doesn't sound too bad in a game like this. Got eyes. We could also go oh, Dance will get the blink slap, and this should be a very quick kill. Unless the Telekinesis so actually connects, which it does, but Sing Sing is coming in from the top. Claims that kill on Mirana. This would be better though. Let Panic get the AC and then just go hit the buildings. We could go for uh, the Yule's combo. They're looking for it on Funny. He gets the BKB off, but there is a Beam Script. Still, they don't have the Shadow Fiend in the neighborhood. They aren't able to bring him down. Winter's Curse finally getting deployed. Oh, Sing Sing's just getting pounded by his teammate, but they didn't follow through with any secondary, so they couldn't bring down the Mirana. And now, well, Empire, speaking of secondary, they're looking for it. They will get a vacuum against this TP of Mirana's, and one more attack from Rizzo's next the Urn Charge is going to do it. Now, Demon kind of stranded in no man's land cooldown on booster travel will blink to the side but he's spotted by a ward I, I think he is in quite a bit of trouble here might have to commit his split to even stay alive but you're not interested in that will be pv first 
gets the clap off. Damage is not arriving just yet for Empire. If he doesn't can get have a, a TP, off, he will be fine. Still 10 seconds. Sunstrike will connect as well. Should be keeping his blink canceled for now. There's the split. He's getting canceled by the Cold Snap. Very nicely done by Empire. He's got Orchid Axe. Is this a refresher game and transitions uh, like sword damage? Or he could go refresher. I think oh, Requiem on Funic. He needs another race. Actually, he doesn't need another race. Just BKB pop, but Arise doesn't care. Or for Monkey Freedom Fighters, they're 5 on 4, Darks are on the sidelines, they'll have to buy back if they want to hold these barracks, I think. Crew Split is available, Sing Six ending an illusion, so is Arise, they're just harassing these heroes, keeping them away. There goes the tower, Drunken Haze out in the Invoker Tornado, not really going to connect on anything apart from this Shadow Fiend illusion. And there goes Jimmy, in with a blink time split, forcing out the buyback, Juggernaut, he exceeds Strip and Laguna, but a very, very good cold embrace. And a nice faction wall from Funnix should set Empire up for a good team fight, but no! Doesn't get the Omni Slash off, got killed off by a rise with that one right click during the BKB. And now they're kind of out of damage, Funnix also being chased away here by the entirety of MFF, and they will be claiming him at the very least Rubik got a return kill onto Beaver Knight's Mirana, but they're suffering really heavy losses. Buyback from the Rubik getting them into a 4 on 3 position. Or actually 3 on 4 rather, not favoring them. Hex goes out, they just don't have the damage. Ice Wall trying to buy space here. Jimmy will pop off the BKB and that is enough to secure this kill onto the Rubik who did buy back there. So that was essentially a dieback. Now looking for another kill over on No Fear. Does have the 4 staff ready, can he get it off? No, stun locked until his death. And now Resolution, the last standing survivor here for Empire. Can't really do much in his own. This is definitely two lanes of Rex. Might just be game. Yep, that might just be it. Juggernaut, once again, not able to get Omni Slash off. You know, your effective, your one position is just totally useless in these team fights. Uh, they're just throwing all their cooldowns out of Fiend Script. Oh, Laguna Blade, get out of here. Says the Ops are sending him back to the fountain. That's 70 seconds. GG is the call out from Empire. And I think the, Great the comeback. panel was split 50 50 with who was the favorite in this game. I think, oh, I think a lot of people said Empire game. was the favorite, but I mean, honestly, Empire has been. You know, not that not very impressive, not the old empire we used to see it. So nice to see some newcomers take a big game, and we'll see if they can finish it out next next match. Yeah, of course this is a best of three matchup as uh, Monkey Free Empires are now up one and zero. Do you have any? I, I guess Arise is the obvious standout performer in this game, ending the game with fourteen one. Yeah, absolutely. I I questioned the the bots Shadow Blade build, but you know he farmed a lot. He got some good pick.